Good morning and welcome to school today. It is the, I always had figured out, the 11th of April. It's Tuesday, so we don't sing. So we are just going to do our pledge. So let's get our day started by standing for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's see what we're having for the 11th of April. It looks like we're having grilled chicken sandwiches, steamed broccoli, grape tomatoes, apples. Um, that's it. One of those things, too. So, All right, let's see who's celebrating an 11th birthday. Oh, we don't have any 11th birthdays today or this week, and we don't even have any teacher birthdays today. All right, our attendance yesterday was fabulous, 96%, so that means tomorrow will be a costume day, so be sure that you're here. I don't know what that wang dang doodle is about up there. I can see it in the, ca in the camera. <laughs> That's weird. Um, be sure you're here tomorrow to see who the new person is to dress up. Teachers, if you're not dressing up and would like to, please let me know. Fourth grade had our best attendance yesterday. They will be dismissed first. And these homerooms had perfect attendance. Anderson, Arena, Kells, and Lee. Remember, we're trying to get 10. Or, yeah, 10 is our... 10 is what we've had when we get 11, okay? All right, remember that our mission here at Red Oak is to have academic excellence, a nurturing environment where everybody feels safe, and then remember we want to be life ready. We want to be looking to the forward into the future to find our passion and our purpose, what we love to do and what we think we're supposed to do. And then remember our manner of the week this week is put your napkin in your lap and use it to wipe your mouth, okay? All right, this morning we have a um, idiom, off the hook, to be free from blame. So um, let's see. So that means, so like what happened the other day in the bathroom in the primary hall, there are a whole lot of people who are off the hook because their teachers know that they were not in the bathroom, but a lot of people from our videos tell us that they were in the bathroom during those times, so they are not off the hook. So you're not responsible for it. I was off the hook from cleaning the toy room since I wasn't at home to cause the mess. Sometimes that happens, too. Congratulations to Miss Quinn's class. They have completed their 10th Red Oak charge. Good job, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Silly spring. All right, I've got some Red Oak role models. Let's see what I've got today. Emma Cardona. Um, she set a good example. Jatavion in Miss Rupert's room did nice effort on the recorder and music. Ryan Moat uh, did an awesome job during guidance. Good job, Kenna Gaylor set a good example. Um, Kyson in Miss Denton's class did a good job playing attention. Autumn in Miss Denton's class played attention and did great playing. Carter Hammond. Um, Carter helped someone else clean up someone else's mess without complaining. You know, the, the best part about that is that he didn't complain. Ben Land always sets a great example during work time in hallway. August Locker. August is a great leader in the hallway. Rosa Baranoff sets a great example in the classroom by paying attention. Leanna Sulico is very focused during our ready time. Riley Boyle sets a great example in the hall. Roman Zerko paid attention and tried his best. Oksana, I'm thinking that's Kanyeko, used appropriate responses and tried her best. Hazel C. in Miss Arena's room had great math vocabulary. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nora Pickerel was an active listener and set a good example. R.J. Caver kept the spaces clean in their classroom. Ashton in Mr. Shelton's room followed directions with mallets and chose not to talk out in music. Irene in Mr. Shelton's class paid great attention and was a good example. Rhodes Clark set a good example and tried his best. Owen Wetzel set a good example and tried his best. Izzy Banks in Miss Lee's class set a good example and tried her best. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I thought I said Izzy Lee, but I said Izzy Banks. So Izzy Lee is a big grown-up girl. She does not go here. Case Miller set a good example, tried his best. David Kanyenko set a good example and tried his best. Aubrey Bland set a good example. Uh, Reagan Gillum was silent and set a good example. Jacob Kaup set a good example and tried his best, and so did Evelina Shavaya and Alyssa Bird, and Alicia Faulkner set a good example. Good job, you guys. I don't know how I did that. I started turning in the wrong direction. All right, let's have some jokes. I've got some from my friend Ella. Let's see here. 
Um, okay, well, this is an interesting fact. Beavers are the second largest rodent in the world. I know what the largest one is. It's a capybara. Um, and the beaver's orange teeth grow continuously. They don't ever stop growing. Um, who? this is a good one. What do you call a rabbit with fleas? Bugs Bunny. <laughs> That's good. Too, so. uh, let's see. And which school supply is the king of the classroom? A ruler. That's funny. Uh, let's see. This is an old one, but we'll do it anyway. What do Gatorades drink after they work? No. Forget that one. What do alligators drink after they work out? Gatorade. But. All right. What do a mouse and a wheel have in common? They both squeak. Um, what do frogs use so they can see better? Frog lights, like fog lights that you use when you're deer hunting. And why can't you trust a pig? Because it will always squeal on you. Squeal is like tattling. So that's a word that... Um, it's kind of a little bit less nice to say, why'd you squeal on me, as opposed to why'd you tattle on me, okay? But if somebody's doing something they shouldn't do, squeal or tattle, especially in the bathroom, okay? All right, let's say our Red Oak expectations. Say them with me, please. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves and that you are always, always kind. Remember, please, that our hallways are silent places. Um, and I think those are all those things. Have a great day. Do your work and do it well. And I will see you guys in the morning. Teachers, we have faculty meeting in the library after school. Love you guys.